government in Kilefe were today embroiled in a fight. With Goon says they tried to reclaim the eight-acre piece of land from the Salim Awar, a private developer. The officers claiming that Awar uh, had fraudulently acquired the land two years ago. Maureen Bosiri now reports. It was business unusual in Mtuapa after Kilifi counters carries accompanied by the officers from the State Department of Culture, Arts and Heritage and the National Museum of Kenya officials tried to break down a perimeter wall of land said to belong to the government. Moments after the demolition began, they were attacked by goons allegedly hired by private developer Salim Awad. The goons started pelting stones on the earth excavator after the gate and the part of the wall had been flattened, prompting everyone to scamper for their safety. Umi Bashir said that the land was fraudulently acquired by Awad two years ago, despite him claiming to have bought the piece of land from a commercial bank and was issued the approval letter from Kilifi County to proceed with developing the land. Edwin Abonyo, chairman of the National Museum of Kenya Board, warned Awad for hiring goods to disrupt government officers from doing their work, adding that he had fraudulently acquired the land. Somebody to be able to grab land, look at the kind of wall he's putting up here. This is somebody with money. So usually land grabbers, they are not the peasants. And these are married group of people. And they come and, and you wonder even why somebody should come and grab land. If you have this kind of money, why don't you go and buy land properly and put your money where it, has, it is no threat to anybody and you are also peaceful in whatever you're doing. The land reclaiming exercise comes after the interior CS Keture Kindiki waged war on land grabbers in the region last week. Fraud here in Kilifi County. Some of that fraud is perpetuated in cahoots with public officials and will crack down on land fraudsters and criminals. Maureen Yakerario Bosire, look up TV.